I think you have to really do the work. I think you can't integrate the the work and become this new person or become a person uh, that is no longer run by the traumas, run because they, they can run our lives. They can. It takes work. I don't care what anybody says. You can't wiggle your nose and hypnotize yourself out of it. You just can't because then you aren't you aren't earning. I guess somehow. How do I say this? You aren't oh, you aren't bringing awareness to it where you can integrate the experience where you know the difference between the two. Like there has to be, you can't jump. The, there has to be a bridge you walk across and every step counts. And then you can really own this side. Like you do the work. Like I'm a different person than I was when I was, you know, what, 35 years ago when I started doing this 37 years clean and sober. I am not the same person. Mm. I am a different person, mm. but it took work to get yeah. here. It took integration and you cannot, if you're going to skip a step, you're not going to integrate it. Be easy for you to get triggered again. The layers of the onion, like that's really mm -hmm. what you know. I, I hear you. It's like one of the things I've learned now, 30 years into my journey as a student of consciousness and spirituality is it's kind of beautiful that new layers emerge all the time. Mm -hmm. These have been very helpful with me as someone who is very hard on myself in my 20s they always say celebrate it like if you see a pattern in yourself don't judge it because you'll just put the lid back on it celebrate the fact you're seeing it that means there's a layer coming off that means there's some some work you can do around it it's a, awareness is the biggest gift but so often there is this kind of belief of oh my god i thought i'd got rid of my uh, my feelings of rejection no you didn't <laughs> there you go there's a microcosmic example of that rejection wound again that's showing up in your life and if each time it shows up you love love it through yourself and mm -hmm. love your way through that process then what you're describing becomes the journey and that's great. I mean, I I don't always I don't always love it. I, no, I'd love I've to skip to a few befriend, steps. <laughs> I've learned to befriend discomfort more than I ever used to be able to. But but now I do have a different awareness when I'm going through something than I than I could have had a decade or fifteen years ago. Yeah, it's like sitting on the ledge watching it while you're doing it. Right? There's this kind of split consciousness. We're going, oh, here is the pattern again. Oh, that's interesting. Look at what we're doing. Well, we've done this before. Ah, well, maybe we could choose to do something a little bit different this time, you know, so they're just a little bit different and a little bit more different. And then eventually you just do it differently. Okay. If you like this podcast and you want to see more, just click over here and you'll get to see more clips from this interview. If you just want to listen, well, if you click there, you'll listen to the entire interview available to you on any one of your favorite podcast channels.